The origin of your Chamber of Commerce dates back to February of 1889 when the first meetings of the Board of Trade were held, making the organization 123 years old. The names of the Chamber has evolved over the years, culminating in 2012 this year that marks the 50th anniversary as a countywide Chamber under today's name Manatee Chamber of Commerce. We thank you for your ongoing support over all these years. Now, in light of the fact that it's still early in the year, and having just heard Dr. Fishkind speak at the MEDC's economic forecast breakfast two weeks ago, and considering the fact that we have some of the top business minds in our community assembled here this evening, I just cannot resist the temptation to share with you my own economic forecast. So here it goes. The forecast for Manatee County is continued growth. It appears that Manatee County will be among those to take full advantage of its potential. Sales and income figures show an easing up of the rate at which business is easing off. This can be taken as ample proof of the government's contention that there was a slowing depth of the slowdown. Now to clarify that, it should be noted that a slowing up of the slowdown is not as good as an upturn in the downturn. <laughs> or, on the other hand, it is a good deal better than either a speed up of the slowdown or a deepening of the downturn. This also suggests that the climate is about right for an adjustment for the readjustment of the rate structure. Now turning specifically to rates, we find a very definitive decrease in the rate of increase. This clearly shows that there should be a letting up of the letdown. Our chart over here explains the situation. <laughs> Though this forecast is offered in jest, if we all continue to work together to plan properly, Manatee County will experience a very exciting and dynamic place in which to live and conduct our business. Now please enjoy your dinner and your networking and we'll be back in approximately 40 minutes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jim Vett. I'm the immediate past chair of the chamber. And, and I'd like to welcome you all tonight to the, to the evening. Um, the nice thing about it, quiet, having acquired everyone down right now, quite honestly, is when I was walking around the room, I've had more people say, there is such a great energy in this room tonight, honestly. So thank you. And I remember a year ago, and I'm still trying to process this because I really can't get my arms around it, but there was the mother of all storms last year when I came into office when you would think it would happen when John Horn came into office. I, I just can't, I can't figure it out. But, but anyways, thank you everyone. What a, what, a great, um, what a great evening and we appreciate everyone so much coming out and, and spending time this evening. Just uh, want to recognize um, a few of our elected officials that are here this evening, and if you, uh, if you hold your applause till the end. We have Larry Bessel, Manatee County Commissioner and Chairman of the Port Authority. John Chappie, Chairman, Manatee County Commission. Robin D. Sabatino, Commissioner, Manatee County. Carol Whitmore, Commissioner, Manatee County. Harry Canan, Chairman, School Board of Manatee County. Bob Goss, School Board of Manatee County. And I hope I acknowledged everyone with that, so please um, show your applause. I always try to say we're so fortunate that we have so many public officials come to these events 
and really it gives us the opportunity as a chamber to really have great dialogue about what's going on in our community and really make it a better place. So thank you so much. I, I, I can't express enough how appreciative we are of, of all of you taking the time out of your schedules to, uh, to come out and join us. So thank you. And then we have the past chairman of our uh, Manatee Chamber that are here. And uh, last year I had said during our speech that, that I would look to them for their wisdom and, and it really held true that many of them were a great resource for me throughout the year and I'm very appreciative of that. And I'm appreciative of, I think that's what makes this chamber so great is how many of the past chairs are still very, very actively involved with this chamber and care so deeply about it. So I'd like to recognize those that are here tonight. Um, Bill Sedgman from 1983, Greg Bussell from 1985, Cliff Walters from 1991, Bob Turner 1994, Ron Allen 1996, Byron Shin 2000, Robert Beck, 2003. John Rice, 2008. Mac Carraway, 2009. And sitting in the parking lot, which is what I've heard you do after your immediate past chair year, Chris Pennewell, 2010. Before tonight's awards, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the Bradenton Herald for their tremendous time and effort put forth in taking f photographs. A special photo recognition of our many volunteers will run as a pull out in tomorrow's edition of the Bradenton Herald, Friday, February 3rd. So thank you, Bradenton Herald, as always, for your tremendous support. <laughs> this time, we'd like to um, recognize a few of the retiring board members not an indictment of their age, and that are with us this evening. So Bob, if you would uh, present them. Beth Green from Morgan, St Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. I think she was another one in the parking lot. Thank you, Beth. Alina Mugford, the transition link. Oh, Alina's not, couldn't make it. Chris Pennewell in the parking lot from Whitney Bank. They actually took a picture of us earlier and Chris had to actually stand behind me Another reminder of what next year holds. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. And Brian Sonseri from Advanced Talent Solutions. <laughs> wow, he's got his own theme song. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Now we'd like to present a beautification award winner. The Manatee Chamber of Commerce created an Image Manatee Committee to pay tribute to members of the business community who have recognized the need for contributing to the beauty and appeal of our community. Quarterly awards are presented to businesses and organizations that have exhibited a keen aesthetic, conscientious design, landscaping, and property improvement. From these quarterly award winners, the committee select, selected one to be honored with our annual award. The Image Manatee Committee is proud to present the 22nd Annual Beautification Award to University Park Country Club. <laughs> Attention to detail, natural, natural preservation, and concern for the development of the land are the key principles on which University Park Country Club was conceived. 20 years later, these principles guide the country club in maintaining one of our area's most sought after communities. University's parks 
lush landscaping found throughout the develop development emulates a botanical garden with special emphasis on its common areas. An award-winning restaurant, tennis, and fitness facility provide lakeside dining and panoramic views of the championship golf course. According to Kimberly Beretter, chair of the Image Manatee Committee, the committee selected University Park Country Club as this year's award winner based upon the consistent maintenance and preservation of the native landscape and attention to detail. Special focus on visual aesthetics and use of the natural surrounding is evident at the beautiful entrance and throughout the community. It is the epitome of the meticulous divine design and attentive service. The image of our community is often interpreted based upon our visual environment and first impressions. When driving along our country's southern corridor, the lush beauty of University Park is one of the first glimpses that visitors and residents encounter. It is attentive and meticulous, focused on the beauty of the natural surroundings, and helps promote a positive image for Manatee County. John Neal, thank you very much. We appreciate all you do. John was also an Olympic athlete, it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you, John. You could tell this is John Horn's year. We're bringing all, we're breaking out all the stops. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's all about props. Now a couple of chairman awards. So. Um, I have two that, I, that, that I'd like to give out, and if you can, please come forward. <clears throat> the first is to Jonathan Fleece. Jonathan is the founding chairman of the Manatee Healthcare Alliance and a very noted author within our community now. And Jonathan has really put a tremendous amount of time of effort into leading the charge um, for, for raising awareness of healthcare within our community. Come on, Jonathan. We're just so happy he even <laughs> spends time with us anymore. Jonathan has really done an amazing job raising healthcare awareness within this community, um, really creating a, 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 a group that has done so much to focus on it, and we're very, very fortunate to have someone of his caliber in our community. Thank you, Jonathan. The second one is, I can't wait to hear the theme music for this one, is Beth Green, who is the chairman of the Economic Development Council. And uh, as we shared, the, the, the chamber and the EDFC have, have gone through a transition, and Beth has worked tireless with that effort. And um, not only for the, for the health of the EDC, but for making sure that the EDC and the Chamber's um, relationship and visions are aligned. And um, she put, spent a tremendous amount of time and effort and we really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, <laughs> EDC Chairman. I feel like I should talk like uh, Jim McKay or something, but. <laughs> The EDC chairman, as is tradition, the chairman of the Economic Development Council is presented with a plaque for their service to the organization. This year, it's Beth Green from Morgan and Stanley Smith Barney. Beth, would you please remain at the awards table and assist Sharon with a presentation of the plaques for our EDC partners. You know, Marie is still bossing me around and throwing last minute things at me. I mean, I thought I was through with this December 31st. <laughs> 10 minutes till the silent auction, please. Okay, we'd now like to recognize some of our EDC partners. 
The Economic Development Corporation is fortunate to be the recipient of monies from a number of partners within our community. These funds, which are above and beyond the regular investor dues, enable the Manatee Economic Development Council to improve the services it provides for value-added businesses. It is with great pride and appreciation that we recognize the following organizations as economic development partners. Would representatives for each of these organizations please come forward to accept this award as our token of appreciation? The Manatee County Government, Represented by Commissioner Chappie. Oh. Ed, you're the one that always speaks when uh, when no one else is present, so. The city of Bradenton. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. Okay. The city of Palmetto, Palmetto. I don't think we have a representative here, but thank you for the city of Palmetto. The Manatee County Port Authority. Is Carlos Pacaris here? Or Larry Bustle, there we go. Everyone please welcome Carlos Pacaris, who is the new executive director of the Port of Manatee. For anyone that was able to attend the uh, the welcome luncheon for him with the chamber last week. Uh, we were very, very fortunate to have someone of his caliber um, succeeding David McDonald. Thank you both. We're very appreciative of your support. And finally, the town of Lombo Key. And I don't think we have a representative here, but yeah. Oh, and finally, the, the Suncoast Workforce Board, who is a tremendous partner for all of these years. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. You're done. Thank you. Okay. My final speech. Thank goodness. I get talked out. It's been a really difficult to believe that a year has passed since I was here on stage accepting the gavel from Chris Pennewell. Say hello to him when you pass him in the parking lot. I remember thinking of how blessed this organization is to have, to have so many dedicated, compassionate people who are really bold leaders that have helped this organization thrive throughout the years. As Bob mentioned earlier, we have 123 years to be exact. The impact that the Chamber has on this community is immeasurable, and it has been my honor and privilege to serve as your Chairman of the Board and help steer this great organization. Every single day, your Chamber's boards, committees, volunteers, and staff work diligently to strengthen your business and our community. Think about that for a, member for a minute. Your membership dues, critical sponsorship support, and attendance at events like tonight's annual dinner make it possible 
for the Chamber to work on behalf of you, your business, and your employees. And as, of, as we often say, it makes me wonder if not the Chamber, then who? 2011 brought new opportunities and a renewed sense of optimism that together we can make Manatee County the very best place to live, work, and play. The accomplishments we achieved over the past year have made and will continue to make a real and positive difference for all of us. And we could not have done it without our membership, which once again was recognized as the largest of any chamber in the Tampa Bay region. That's out of 25 chambers, we are the largest by a very significant amount of any chamber. So thank you all. By far the greatest asset of this chamber is our members. And now I'd like to highlight just a few accomplishments that you have helped all of us achieve. The chamber lobbied successfully on seven of its top 10 legislative priorities last year. For those familiar with the hectic pace, especially last year, last minute filings and detailed committee processes in Tallahassee, that scorecard is quite an accomplishment. Highlights of our successes include 1.9 million for the Manatee Technical Institute. You like that, Bob Goss? Economic development tax credits and unemployment compensation, to name a few. The chamber tracks bills and intensely communicates with legislators throughout the session on behalf of the business community. And I said it for earlier, if not the chamber, then who? And Neil Spiritus does an amazing job organizing that. Uh, we just had a group of our uh, chamber commandos go up last week to Tallahassee and um, they said it was just a fantastic session and, and s the Manatee Chamber opens, having the name Manatee Chamber behind them opens doors for them. And they really, really came out of it feeling they could make a difference and, and a lot of that goes to Neil's leadership. So thank you, Neil. In response to several top concerns of membership, the Chamber convened forums and experts to address key topics such as access to capital, reinventing leadership within your business, social media strategies, and an event titled Women Mean Business with Florida Attorney General Pam Biondi. Our vast array of seminars, including new online options offering 24-7 access through the State College of Florida, free business counseling, and guest speakers help more than 1,100 local business people learn new skills hone their business plans, and achieve even greater success. Focused efforts in healthcare arena resulted in the creation of the Manatee Healthcare Alliance, intended to bring key stakeholders together to address critical challenges. Since 2008, the Chamber has advocated for a medical residency program in Manatee County. And we are proud to say that Manatee Memorial Hospital welcomed his first cohort of medical residents this past year. These new young doctors are delivering high quality care and discovering that Manatee County is a great place to ha call home permanently. We also saw access to critical trauma care where minutes count improved with the establishment of a trauma center at, Blake's, at Blake Medical Center. To provide a qualified workforce for our community now and in the future, the Chamber expanded its involvement in our local schools. Our Big Bang Theory program was expanded to reach seniors at every high school with an important activity designed to strengthen their financial literacy. I have to say that the, the results that came out of that program were amazing and it touched the students in more ways than we ever even thought and having people seriously evaluate what they wanted to do in their future. We had students that never thought of going to college all of a sudden realize that on an income that, that didn't include them going to school, 
they wouldn't be able to achieve some of the things that they wanted to do. And this program really opened their eyes to it. So we're very excited about the future of this program. Project Teach and Real Life 101 reached our elementary and middle schools with important career and work ethic messages. The Chamber also raised the bar again with our technology efforts as we continually strive to find as many effective ways as possible to communicate your membership value to you. Social media is providing companies with high impact exposure and your Chamber is taking advantage of it to promote you. We also added new online tools to our website, giving members access to convenient web-based membership features. We've also expanded our chairman circle to include two new leadership levels of membership. Joining our platinum level, members are now have an opportunity to support the chamber at a gold and silver level. The investment of these companies in the chamber helps us expand our program of work while providing a high visibility and recognition in return for these companies. Thank you very much to all of those companies for your support. The core of the Chamber's purpose is to build our businesses and give companies the tools to grow and thrive. We continue to expand the promotion of our local Quote for You online tool to drive more businesses to Chamber members and keep it local and your chamber was officially designated as a county tourist information center, which brought increased traffic to both the chamber's Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch offices. Increased traffic means more people get the opportunity to have access to information about our chamber members. We even gave chamber members exposure with potential new residents before they even moved here through the Welcome Manatee program. 2011 also brought structural changes to the Chamber. In an effort to attract an even greater investment in economic development, Chamber leadership supported the Economic Development Council in moving from a division of the Chamber to becoming an independent organization. Rest assured that a strong collaborative relationship at every level will result in the Manatee Chamber remaining focused on ensuring that Manatee County is the best product possible for business success and that the Manatee EDC is committed to marketing this product to the world. These accomplishments merely scratch the surface. The list of significant programs, initiatives, and events undertaken in 2011 would keep us here until tomorrow. Each year, our program of work is both ambitious and highly relevant to the issues facing each of us and we could not have accomplished it without you. And for a lot of you that attend our retreat, our retreat is such a key tool to evaluating what is currently going on within our community and outlining a lot of our leadership initiatives to make sure that they're current, relevant, and cutting edge. So thank you all for your participation in that program as well. Also, the Chamber staff and his amazing group, and I want to take a moment to thank the Chamber staff led by Bob Bartz, their hard work, long hours, and incomparable dedication to our business and our community. They truly inspire us, and as, a, as the Chair, as board members, um, seeing their continued enthusiasm, their continued um, excitement about what we're doing is really what motivates us every day to get involved. So. Um, it, it's, it's through them that we really have our motivation, so thank you all. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to stay, thank my wonderful staff at Vanguard that's uh, allowed me to have a couple of days out of the office, and uh, my wife Jennifer for all of her support. Thank you. <laughs> now the fun part. I get to tell you a little bit about your incoming chair. <laughs> John Horn, if anyone doesn't know him. Let me tell you a few th key things about John. John has a great sense of humor. You heard his laugh just a minute ago. He's always laughing and lifting the spirits of other people around him. John has a great pair of legs, as you will see momentarily. John has an extremely generous nature 
I mean, philanthropy in our community has no bounds. And that is really, really, boy, that, that's the truth. John is always prepared to serve you a mimosa or a margarita, as we found out at the retreat this year. John's a terrific business person whose restaurants, and sitting in front of us here, have been voted best seafood restaurant for eight consecutive years and best all-around restaurant numerous times, including 2011. And lastly, John loves quotes. If you get emails from him, you always see a quote attached to it. So, you know, I, I searched long and hard to find the quote that I could find that really served me well and John hopefully can serve you well in the future. So that is, silence is golden, <laughs> duct tape is silver. <laughs> and with that, and I would like to welcome our incoming chair, John Horn. Those are just like the stairs in Philly, aren't they? You know? <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. Jim, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, it is my distinct pleasure to present you with the chairman's plaque that Bob is just about to hand me. <laughs> now you're giving it to me. <laughs> Congratulations. Now it is also my privilege to present you with the chairman's pen. Can I just go ahead and take this and skip a year? No. <laughs> Coffee clubs, 11 more. The first one. Oh, it was a blast. I got to uh, ride the little tractor. It only gets better, right, Marie? <laughs> this custom 14 carat gold and diamond pen is presented to you courtesy of Suncoast Jim and Tom Seguin and Donna. Thank you very, very much from them. Please wear this with pride, and thank you very, very much. Thanks, Don't leave just yet. <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> On behalf of the chamber staff, I'm pleased to present you with this scrapbook and frame picture, which will serve as a reminder <laughs> of your year as chairman of the board. We also have a little gift for your wife, Jennifer, as a thank you for all the times that you've been away from her while performing your duties as the chairman. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Jim, thank you. You leave some tremendous shoes to fill. I'd like to introduce this year's board of directors for 2012, in the favorite position of his career at the chamber, immediate past chair, <laughs> Jim Vett. <laughs> Chair-elect, Tom Seguin. <laughs> Vice Chairman of Community Development and Communications is Ray Dowling. Chairman of the Economic Development and uh, Development Corporation, Jerry Marler. Thank you, Jerry. Vice Chairman of Public Policy and Small Business, Todd Pequera. Our Treasurer this year, Jonathan Fleece. I skipped Trevor. Wow. What's the time? I think the over-under was two minutes. <laughs> Vice Chairman of Membership and Development, Trevor Gooby. <laughs> 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 
and returning for the 85th year as president of the chamber, Bob Bartz. I'm going to read our board this year. We have a, a, a full board, a lengthy board, so bear with me. Ed Bailey, Ben Backer, Terry Bailing, Rick Bizio, Carlos Bucaris, Rose Carlson, John Chappie, Ron Crowder, Kevin DeLallo, Chet Evans, Bob Gauze, Ron Getman, Arthur Guilford, Sharon Hillstrom, Ed Hunziger, you guys catch, keeping up with me? Very good. Brian Kennelly, Sandy Kirkpatrick, Susan Lambert Copstead, Stephen Leedy, Chris Locke, Mike Mataloni, George Manson, Tim McGonigal, Mike Mears, Trudy Moon, Jeff Orenstein, Rick Piccolo, Wayne Poston, Kevin Osborne, can you go back and forth? Yeah. <laughs> That's Rick Piccolo. That's Kevin Osborne. Rick Piccolo. Will Robinson. J.B. Taylor. Daryl Turner. Alan Zirkelbach and Ernie Withers. <laughs> You'd think I had glasses on. A big round of applause for our board of directors. <laughs> see, where do I go next? State of the Union? All right. You guys should be saying the prayers, not me. I'll guarantee you Marie is. Are the teleprompters coming up? I want you guys to know there's nothing like following a good leader. Tom, if you can remember that line for next year. <laughs> that would be very helpful. <laughs> Jim, you've been an inspiring chamber chairman and, and you've led our organization with integrity, commitment, and I certainly thank you again on behalf of the entire membership for your leadership and, and, and vision. Jim has also promised me there's a seven second delay on this uh, microphone today as well. We have an earpiece. Jim is going to be feeding me the proper politically correct lines all year. Marie, it's not too late. It is an absolute honor to be your 2012 chairman. I'm really looking forward to it. As I said, I'm following some big, big shoes. We had a year when the chamber accomplished so much, including maintaining the top, step, top spot as the largest chamber in the Tampa Bay area. This will be no small task to keep up with Jim Vett. Each and every one of us has a vested interest in ensuring the continued growth of the Manatee Chamber. There is power, influence, and success in numbers. I ask each of you to consider a new way to support the Manatee Chamber in some way this year. You can give of your time, your expertise, and your financial support. We don't care which. <laughs> Marie? <laughs> this is the way it was when I was her vice chairman. <laughs> I know that this is a fantastic focused organization mostly focused. We are blessed with dedicated, influential leadership and a very experienced staff. Literally hundreds of years of combined tenure at the chamber. Together with the board and more than 400 volunteers serving on 30 plus, 30 plus committees, boards, and task forces. I know that we're gonna have a great success in the upcoming year. I'd like to give you a brief overview of the program of work which we have committed to undertaking this year. I could not possibly touch on the 111, yeah, we counted each and every one of them, 111 initiatives, programs, committees, and member benefits. So I'm going to highlight just a few. 
I know everyone wants to be out of here by midnight, so I'll try to get through these. We worked diligently at our retreat this year to craft our 2012 leadership initiatives. Input from our committees, task force, board members, volunteers, staff, community leaders, and key resource representative were used to help us with an aggressive plan of work that will best serve our members and our community. As a countywide organization with members in every corner of our community, I know that the Manatee County Chamber of Commerce will be the leader of, for business in 2012. Your chamber, by pulling together our entire business community, can make a lasting difference for us all. You all know that the chamber delivers value for your membership investment from the very first day that you became a member. To help with new members get engaged even more quickly, we will expand our Chamber Fringe program to help our new members quickly develop a better understanding of the significant benefits and resources the Chamber gives their businesses. We all know that people do business with people and the Chamber is the very best organization to help make those connections. Thanks to all who volunteer to be Chamber Friends. If you're a Chamber Friend, please just wave your hand and say, so we can say thank you. Thank you guys very, very, very much. Exposure is also a very important to local businesses. We aim to grow investment in the gold and silver levels of membership that Jim mentioned earlier. I encourage you all to consider stepping up to make this investment in the chamber and in your business. It'll deliver a great return. Thank you for all of those who have already stepped up and led the way in this new sponsorship availability. You heard from Jim that more than 1,100 individuals attended chamber seminars, training seminars, business counselings last year. This year we will expand our offerings to work closely with our nonprofits on a seminar, seminar or conference designed to help them to be even more successful. These organizations meet critical needs in our community and although called nonprofits, we know that their success depends on leadership and strong business skills. We will also support the newly independent Manatee Economic Development Corporation in its business retention and expansion efforts. These efforts are critical to supporting jobs and a diversified economic base. Every program the, chair, the Chamber undertakes aligns with our mission to build a positive business environment while supporting the best quality of life possible. It is those two attributes, strong business and fabulous quality of life, that will place Manatee County among the best places to live, work, and play. Again, as Jim said, part of what makes our region great for business includes communication, communicating all of our priorities and all of our concerns to our elected officials. It is absolutely fabulous how many elected officials are active with our chamber, and the number in attendance here this evening is a testament to our relationship. The fact that Tommy and Jamie Clauber and all the crew here at the Polo Grill serve such an excellent meal doesn't hurt their attendance either. I saw Tommy earlier running around. I don't know if he's still here, but we really want to say thanks to both Tommy and Jamie. They do a great job here. I don't know how many of y'all remember, but they, are, they were Small Business of the Year winners, I believe, two years ago. So we're fortunate to have them in our chamber. We're fortunate to have a great restaurant just like the Polo Grill. So thank you, Tommy and Jamie. As Jim said, last week your, your chamber was in Tallahassee fighting hard on many issues, among them technical school funding fairness, unemployment compensation reform, support of Port Manatee, and several economic development initiatives. As Jim said, if not for the chamber, then whom? Your membership makes these efforts possible. This year's Legislative Affairs Committee was able to spend 30 minutes privately with Governor Scott while they were up there. That's pretty much unheard of for most organizations to get that much face time. They also met with Attorney General Pam Bondi as well as numerous representatives and senators. They came back saying that their group was, was termed top shelf in the halls of Tallahassee and a lot of credit belongs to Neil Spiritus. Thank you very, very much, Neil. Appreciate all you do. The other side of that coin, however, 
is the fact that we are also represented by volunteers from our membership. Doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs, as they say, that take time from their jobs, their families, and their livelihoods to make the trek to Sodom and Gomorrah to spend time pitching our priorities. <laughs> we take a boots on the ground that know the real world and can pitch all of our concerns to the elected officials, and they appreciate hearing from the sources rather than paid voices. It makes a big difference when we have volunteers go up there. Thank you very, very much to this year's committee. We really appreciate it. Your chamber will also expand an already robust menu of, offering desi of offerings designed to market your business, local and to the world. This year, we will launch a chamber app for those smartphones that you've all been looking at during my speech. I know some of you are texting each other right now wondering how much longer I'm going to ramble on. I know, I know. I've done it before. We will ramp up our training on social media and investigate text technology. Text technology. Hopefully you have all used our local quotes for you tool. I used it for my suit. Worked out nicely. This online tool is designed to increase your business exposure to potential customers while saving consumers time and money and helping them shop local. I hope you all will commit to using this tool whenever you're in the need of products or services that can prov be provided by a local chamber business. Imagine the difference we could all make for each other if we found new ways to do business with fellow members. We also will be exploring new additional ways to drive business to you all of our members. We welcome all of your ideas. In 2012, healthcare will still be on our list of leadership initiatives. It's good enough for the federal government. It's good enough for the Manatee Chamber. We are so proud of our role in the creation of the Manatee Healthcare Alliance, which will provide leadership for our community on the myriad of issues affecting healthcare and chart a course for the future. Your chamber will step up our efforts of encouraging business participation in wellness programs and investigate the possibility of a chamber member health insurance program. I would say I'd get into some wellness program, but that's not going to happen either. Will, is your marathon the 15th still, September? I think I can be ready. <laughs> this year, we're going to be looking for even more ways to communicate with you. We are going to tweet. Friend, tag, link, post, fan, anything we can on your iPhone, your Blackberry, your Crackberry, your Droid. We're going to come out and tell you what the Chamber's doing. We're going to give you an opportunity to do the same thing to all of our Chamber members. We'll use these and other tools to deliver as much member value to you as possible. Jim brought up that I have sayings at the bottom of my emails. The one I've got on it right now is uh, the problem with communication is the illusion that it has occurred. <laughs> We're going to give every opportunity for you guys to communicate with all the other members as easily as possible. Another item we're going to do in 2012, and it's important to everyone, if you need a little R&R, &R, we can help you out. You can travel with the Chamber to exciting international destinations this year. The Manatee Chamber has planned fantastic trips to Cuba, Budapest and Hungary, Ireland and Scotland. These trips boast expertly planned itineraries coupled with a great price. I know many of you, for many of you, R&R &R is the most important thing in the world for you, but I'm going to let you in on an industry secret from the restaurant business. It's not R&R &R that's important to us, it's R&D. <laughs> not research and development. Rob and duplicate. <laughs> I've taken a bunch of notes from Tommy tonight. I've seen a couple of things they do here. We'll take it back to the oyster bars. Jerry's my accountant. I don't know if you all know this or not. I do practice what I preach. We do business locally. Jerry's our accountant. And he's seen some of my R&D expenses. <laughs> he can attest to that very high line item on our budget. So, Jerry, you can see, I just admitted it, I did some R&D tonight. It's all legitimate. Shop locally. 
I lie and he swears to it. These initiatives are at the top of our list, but are by no means our full program of work. There are so many areas your chamber strives to influence, and it is all on behalf of you, our members. Our priorities are designed to help local businesses and help our community. We know that together businesses and residents alike can make a difference and your chamber is committed to leading the way. I encourage each of you to get involved by joining one of our many committees, task forces, and volunteer programs. Two years ago, Amanda and I received the Spirit of Volunteerism Award from the Manatee Community Foundation. We were very, very fortunate to do that. We received this award on the backs of a lot of hardworking crews at the three restaurants that we have. They do all the work, I get all the credit. It's a great job, fabulous. At the luncheon, when they gave me a mistake of giving me a mic, silly people, I planned to tell the crowd that, 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 I, that we won for volunteerism because we don't know how to say the word no. And I was looking around similar to this and you know, it seems like it, here's another room of people that don't know how to say no. And so I thought, well, wouldn't it be great to teach a seminar, to teach a class, to teach people how to say no? And that way, you know, we wouldn't do all these things. And I thought, well, you know, why don't we turn it around? And why don't we talk the people that aren't here, teach them how to say yes. And then if we can get everybody to volunteer, if we can get more people to say yes, guess what? This room will be full with other people because they said yes, they'd do this. And yes, they'd volunteer. And yes, they'd help out. And we can go to the oyster bar and eat. Our community, we are so blessed to have so many wonderful people in our community. I think it's separated by so many, just by the volunteerism and the spirit that we have. It's, it, we're, we're just tremendously, tremendously blessed. When Jim Vett called me 18 months ago to ask me to be his chair-elect, he's still ruining the day, I decided that day that I wanted to be the best chairman I could be. I wanted to show Jim that he'd made a great decision to choose me. With all... <laughs> My God, you're new here. My God. <laughs> yeah, she, she's quick. <laughs> I called on some of the tremendous business leadership in our community, and I looked back to some of my predecessors as chairman of the board. I spoke with many of them, and I asked them what I could do to make a good chairman. Some of the pointers I received from Cliff Walters, for God's sakes, man, wear some long pants. <laughs> from Alan Zirkelbach, I set the bar too low, don't worry about a thing. He's, and can you bring back the roast? From Bob Turner, keep wearing short pants. At last year's past chairman's breakfast, Brian Murphy came up to me afterwards and he said, and I'll have to paraphrase this, believe it or not. Brian came up to me afterwards and he said, look, we've all worked our tails off to make this the best organization around. Don't it up. <laughs> I'll try, Brian, I swear. Jim Vett's advice, keep on doing everything like you think it should be done. Don't change yourself one iota. They'll look back and say, Vet was the best chair we ever had. <laughs> I look forward to working with the Chamber's outstanding board of directors, the staff, and the volunteers to accomplish the ambitious program of work that we have before us. Allow me to give thanks to very special people who helped me along the way this year. Fred Hurley and Gary Harkness. Thank you, guys. My two partners at the Oyster Bar. Fred and I have worked together for 15 years now. Gary and I started as waiters together in 1981 at Fast Eddie's. I don't know how many of y'all know this, but Cindy Unziger with the ADC, back then she was Cindy Izzo, she trained me to be a server. It's a vicious cycle we all lead here in Manatee County. There's a lot to be said of our crew at the Oyster Bar. We have 232 staff at the three stores, and they're all working very hard. Last September, we celebrated our 15th anniversary of the Oyster Bars. 
We took 89 of our long-term staff members to Universal Studios as a thank you. 655 years of Oyster Bar service were represented by those 89 people. We have a lot of longevity. We love our staff. I don't know if they love us, but they stick around for a long time, and we appreciate them. It takes a lot of that. We're proud of that, and a lot of that's credit to Fred and Gary. Thanks, guys. My mom and dad are here tonight. I love you guys. They tried to get me on the right path. <clears throat> tried. My brother Lynn, I love you, man. There's nothing more important than family to you. I was blessed to get the parents that I get and the family I get. I'm very fortunate. To my dear friends that came tonight, thank you guys. <laughs> And the most important, thanks, sweetie. And finally, I thank you, the chamber membership. This is the best chamber in the country, thanks to each and every one of you. I challenge you to find new ways to support this incredible organization that supports you. Thank you very much. Marie, can you come up for the silent auction results? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot one thing to tell you earlier. Come on up, Marie. Let me tell you one last bit of advice that I got from one of, our, one of my predecessors. One of my favorite past chairmen is John Rice. I know that's hard to believe. We have nothing in common. He's always willing to help and give advice. When I asked John what I could do to be a great chairman, he said, John, Whatever you do, no matter what happens, don't let Marie Pinder retire on your watch. <laughs> I'm one month into my term, and guess what's happened? Marie is retiring. <laughs> so I ignored the words of John Rice. And Marie, after 22 years with the chamber. 22 and a half. But who's counting? <laughs> me. And I was thinking Nicole wouldn't correct me all the time, but apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> We've entered Marie in the drop program, so she will be out of the office in seven years. So everything's fine. <laughs> Marie has announced that she'll be retiring. In her 22 years, our membership has nearly doubled. Marie's dedication, professionalism, and hard work have helped to make the chamber the best in the country. She'll be greatly missed by us here at the chamber, but her grandchildren and great-grandchild will be thrilled to have more time of mama's? Yeah, mama. Mama's uh, time. Yeah, thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank, you. thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun year. <laughs> One retirement party after another. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, gosh, okay. John Rice will be chairing a retirement party. Oh no! So he will be putting together a committee. Anyone interested in a roast? Any type of retirement party? John's taking all kinds of recommendations. Oh, man, <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> well, gosh, before I, uh, I mention the new winners, I mean, how in the world do you say in a few sentences what this experience has meant to me? Um, I, you know, as I said, experience, not a job. It's never been a job to me. I mean, to have the opportunity to have been part of an organization who has so skillfully blended businesses, partnerships, friendships, and not always necessarily in that order, um, to become the successful organization that it has, um, it's been absolutely overwhelming. Uh, but you know, you, the, the old expression, you know when it's time, and as um, John mentioned, I am the proud great-grandmother of a two-year-old boy who is the most beautiful child you've ever seen. Oh, Jackie, Micah comes close, 
Okay, all right. But I want to have as much influence on this child and this little boy as I can, and, and that takes time. So it's time. You know, you just know, and, and, and it's time. But it's been a wonderful journey for me, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you and what you've done for me. I hardly ever heard a no in any time, even when they like saw me coming, like, oh, God, here, what's this going to cost me, you know? <laughs> Come on, make me work a little bit, you know. But for the most part, the answer was always yes. But I'm going to take the opportunity, and while I have the podium here, to, to ask you one more thing. And that is to please, please pay attention. Pay attention to the chamber. The world is changing. Your businesses are changing. We're all changing, and the chamber is changing. You've always been by our side. You've always responded when we asked you for things. but. We have to, to move along with the, the, the future as well, and there's no way your staff, we know you respect us, we know you, you like us, we think you do anyway, and again, you've always responded, but we need that continued support. There's a lot of competition out there for fewer dollars, tighter dollars, but we want to grow and become the best we can be for you. The more successful you are, the more the successful your chamber is, but we need you by our side. So. Again, thank you very much. I didn't know they were going to have a roast for me. I'll have to have a thick skin, but anyway, thank you for that. So anyway, it's been my pleasure to have been your vice president for so many years, 22 and a half years. It's hard to believe, but I'll miss you all, and thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, and now our silent auction, um, we're very, very proud. We started this a couple of years ago. As you know, the Chamber's a not-for-profit, so every dollar counts, and uh, we've tried to uh, keep our, the, uh, the dinner cost as low as possible for our smaller members that can afford to come and yet make the budget. So we came up with the idea of having a silent auction, but we kept it short, some unique items, and we only have 10 items, and we did pretty well, and it uh, looks like in a quick survey here, we've made about $3,500. So thank you for that. And um, we want to give thanks to the following companies who, in addition to our sponsors, help make this evening's festivities possible. Again, thanks to Tommy and Jamie Clauber and their outstanding hospitality and their supporting sponsorship for the dinner. Charles Clapsaddle. Manatee Education Television for audiovisual. Again, Charles gets all the credit. You do all the work. I understand. <laughs> Trust me. I do. Whiting Preston and Manatee Fruit Company for the centerpieces. Does anyone know when Jim Vett's birthday is? I do. It has nothing to do with the centerpieces. I just wanted to know if anyone. <laughs> Jim Vett's birthday is May 4th. Remember that. Whiting Preston, thank you for the centerpieces. Lemoyne Johnson and Johnson Photo Imaging for photographing tonight's event. Thank you very much, Lemoyne. Also want to thank our gold sponsors, Braden and Harold, Mold. Did I forget something? Daryl. Where's Daryl? Sorry, buddy. And Daryl Turner, Turner Tree and Landscape for these lovely <laughs> Back to our gold sponsors. <laughs> Braden Harold, Malden Jenkins, Suncoast Business Technologies, Silver Members, Bank of the Ozarks, FCCI Insurance Group, Manatee Community Federal Credit Union, Southcom Publishing, State College of Florida, SunTrust Bank, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. And a special thanks to Lockheed Martin for sponsoring tonight's silent auction. I want to thank all Manatee County officials, the cities of Braden and Palmetto Island Cities, Lakewood Ranch School Board, and all other government entities. The Chamber works to help accomplish its program of action. We hope you enjoyed the 49th annual dinner. This event could not be possible without all of our support and the generous of our presenting sponsors, corporate sponsors, and platinum members. Finally, I want to thank you, our members, our valued volunteers for making our Chamber the successful organization it is today. And before we adjourn, please take a moment to determine at your table whose birthday is closest to mine. And my birthday, let's see, Jim's May 4th. I am May 3rd. 
So Jim wins at our table, I'm thinking. So if you're closest to my birthday, May 3rd, please take the centerpiece home with you. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it, and good night.